In this activity, we will be looking at how to measure visual acuity using a chart of letters known as a Snellen chart. You'll either be provided with a file that you can print out at home or that you can bring up on your computer screen so that you can perform this activity yourselves. On the Snellen chart, you'll see rows of letters and each row is a different size. The small number associated with each of the rows is the distance in metres at which a normal sighted person can read that line. Now to calculate visual acuity using this test, you divide the testing distance, which is often 6 metres, by the number associated with the smallest line that can be read. So for example, if you could read the line that can be read by normal sighted people at 9 metres, then your visual acuity would be expressed as a ratio of 6 over 9. So to carry out this test at home, make a mark on the floor at the distance that you need to for the size of chart that you're using. The example that we're showing in this video uses a chart that needs to be read at 6 metres, and so we put a mark at 6 metres on the floor, and then the subject tests each eye individually and notes the last line that can be read correctly. Now just be careful, when you're covering your eyes, don't press too hard, otherwise the vision in the eye being covered will be disrupted when you go to test that eye. Now the last step in the methods then says that if you've got normal vision, to try using a positive lens and a negative lens to convert you into either a myope or a hyperope and then test yourself again. As described in the notes above, people with hyperopia will generally be able to see distant objects reasonably well, and so they tend not to have too much trouble reading this chart. People with myopia, however, don't see distant objects very well, and so generally they'll struggle. So if you were a normal sighted person and you were carrying out this task in class and you were using a negative lens to convert you into a hyperope, then generally you would still be able to perform quite well. If you were using a positive lens and were converting yourself into a myope, then you would find that there would be a deterioration in your visual acuity.